Hi everyone, this is Jarla from Handmade Card Happy Heart. Thank you for joining me today. I have a Christmas card to share with you where I use some items from the latest Lawn Fawn Fall and Winter release. Let me start by showing you the items that I used. So first of all, we have the Joy to All stamp set, then this older Christmas Dream stamp set, the cat from Perfectly Wicked, a dog from Furry and Bright, and then the sofa from the Window Scene Winter. I stamped all of my images off camera using my Misty tool and my MFT Extreme Black ink. This is a Copic friendly ink, which also stamps very black and very crisp. So this is uh, my favorite blank, uh, black ink for Copic coloring. I try to limit my colors for this card with just a few reds and greens in different shades and then also a little bit of yellow and then a few grays for some items. Now since uh, this card involved a lot of coloring I will leave you with a little bit of music and I will catch you soon after the coloring is completed.
after all the coloring was done, I die cut all my images using the coordinating dies. I used the medium size of the slimline stitched rectangles and I die cut my background out of some Hello Sunshine Remix paper, that's that grey one over there, and then for my floor I used the white wood grain cardstock. Now I did want to add a little bit uh, extra to my ground there, so I took my Distress ink in the color Hickory Smoke and then lightly ink blended a little bit of that color onto that wood grain cardstock. This gives it a little bit of interest. Once that was finished, I took my tape runner and glued that floor onto my background, onto that stitched rectangle piece. Now for the transition between the wall and that uh, ground, I took a little tiny strip of fog cardstock. I think this was about a quarter of an inch and uh, I used this uh, strip as a border. Now first I placed all of my images onto my little scene there so I could figure out exactly where I wanted all of the images to be. And once I was happy with the placement I started gluing everything down. Now I did take my scissors there and just cut a little piece between both arms of that little girl there. So I could tuck that little present inside her arms. I think this, um, this made it look much better. Now, most of my items were glued down with liquid glue, like all those ornaments there, and then the sofa, and also those uh, uh, that little boy and that little girl. But my cat and uh, that dog were adhered using some foam squares. So this gives it a little bit of dimension. Then for my background, I used the new paper uh, collection pack of Let It Shine Snowflakes. I used the largest slimline stitched rectangle there. And here I am prepping my card base. Then I am gluing that uh, background onto my card base. And then I foam mounted my scene. and place this onto my card base. I went for a white background so that all the focus would be on the scene there. Now, as always, I forgot <laughs> to uh, I forgot to stamp a sentiment and I didn't have uh, enough room anymore. So I just decided to stamp my sentiment in the inside of my cards. Now for the finishing touches, I used the Lawn Fawn glitter pen and I went over those presents for a little bit of uh, extra shimmer. And then I took out my glossy accents and put a little bit of shine on that star on top of the tree. And this finishes off the cards for today. I hope you like this Christmas scene. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you like this content, please consider subscribing to this channel. I will see you very soon. Have a great day. Bye.